Hi guys, welcome back for another one. I am Mr. Free to Play, that is right, I'm a free to play player and I give free to play player advice, tips, tricks, and other things. First thing I like to say guys, yes, I've been gone for about two weeks. If you really wanna know what's going on with me, the best place is to join my Discord as I will give updates in my Discord for you guys to let you know when I'm just gonna be gone for a little bit of time for personal reasons. With that said, let's kick this off with our first bold prediction. I will also enjoy October's bold predictions, yes, you will. And while we're on track with some of the funny bold predictions, let's kick it off with this one. I predict by the next anniversary, this game will come out of alpha. Will it though? And our next comedy hour feature is, my prediction is that we will only see one character without bugs before the next bold prediction video. Well, account Dan, I hate to tell you this, but straight to close only counts in horseshoes and grenades for you. And before I kick off the intro, one last bold prediction, I predict that Mr. Free to Play will cross 4,000 subs this week. Well, I didn't cross it the week that you posted this, but hopefully after this video, I will cross 4,000 subs and I thank you guys all for subbing in advance. And with that said, Sit back, relax, and let's get into it. guys we are kicking this off with our number five bold prediction now this is actually going to be a tie i'm going to feature two at number five and that's mainly because these next two that i show you were very very close to one of them getting the axe and i didn't feel right giving one the axe because i actually felt like it was going to happen tied for number five is a bold prediction from andrew hogan they will add the ability to carry a second team on more difficult battles with all the new characters being added, you'll be able to carry a backup team or a second wave in certain battles. Example, X-Men or Avengers will have a blue gold teams and the Avengers will have wave one and wave two, which you could potentially use in special situations. This sounds like a really cool feature. I don't know if they have the capability of pulling this off, especially given their record with bugs, but I thought this was very, very unique that I wanted to get it featured. So there here it is, tied for number five. And now your other number five, full prediction at some point in early to mid 2021 is when they'll actually do a Ravager rework and Ravagers will be required for a training materials monthly event as they go around the multiverse scavenging the materials. I like your theory and I'm still on the fence if they're gonna add a training materials monthly event as you just double the number of gold training materials that you can get in the new challenges compared to tier 12 to tier 14. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens, but obviously if training match continue to be a serious bottleneck, I could see them adding something in to relieve that, but I don't know if they give it as a huge amount would relieve it too much at this point, but strong possibility, I'm leaving it there. Let's move on. Now I have to cover bold predictions that were based on rumors. I actually only got one of them this period, so a lot less than we've been getting, but this one you now see on your screen is basically the rumored around the new quantum team of getting yellow jacket, ghost, and stature to team with Wasp and Ant-Man, as this one seems most likely coming next patch, it's just waiting for the official word from the devs, which probably won't come until the end of October when they're getting ready to launch the new patch, as I believe the new patch is due the first week in November. Don't hold me to that date, I haven't had a chance to look it up before saying that, but that's around the timeline in my head that I have. And that just remind me, I forgot to read the rules of bold predictions before I jumped into them. So before we get into number four, here are some quick rules to bold predictions. One, predictions cannot be based on leaks or rumors. You must be predicting something in the future and then the last one anyone who nails a featured bold prediction will go into the bold prediction hall of fame those are the three so you guys can leave your bold predictions in the comments down below or you can leave your bold predictions in my discord which the link is in the description like i mentioned at the beginning of the video now like i mentioned in previous bold prediction videos now if we have bold predictions that are of the same type i will only pick one out of that entire group to be the featured one the rest go straight to automobile mentions and that applies to the next bold prediction is get so the first off let me show you the two honorable mentions and tell you which category this one falls in hawk and the agents of smash and by january they will release red hawk i'm assuming that skyer uh not sure if that's right for next station or not doc samson and she hawk rework so you guys can see this one falls in the class of new teams that are coming or at least that's where i group these ones so the actual feature number four bold prediction is from Keith Keith. I swear this guy makes a top five every single time. In mid 2021, we will be getting another mutant faction out of the game. This faction is based off a lot of X-Men stories from the comics. It will be a villain faction. 
It is the Flax. I think that's how you say the name. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments if I'm wrong on that one. I didn't have a chance to look it up. Like I'm really rushing this video out to you guys because I'm already behind schedule. They are a techno organic race who are similar to Warlock and the New Mutants comics of the 90s. Their goal was a simulation of Earth, but they were unable to absorb mutants. Psyology. Yes, psyology. Definitely a good faction to oppose X-Men. Keep up the great work. So yes, mid 2020s, this is the reason why I feature this one is one, it gives enough time for it to happen as we're January for the Agents of Smash. Not a whole lot of time left as I pretty much know all the rumored characters that are coming out now until January and that those names have not been mentioned anywhere. So not enough time for that one to come true. So that's the main reason why I gave the nod to Keith's Keith's prediction and gave the other one honorable mention. All right, guys, before we get to number three, we actually had someone nail a bold prediction. Now, this one never got a chance to be featured because this one actually came true before I was able to make this video. And that one is actually from my alliance made Maverick. I boldly predict that Corvus Clave will be the member of the Black Order that goes to the arena store by the end of the year. And guys, by the last dev post, we know for a fact Corvus Clave next Wednesday at Game Reset, probably Thursday for my Australian and Asian friends out there, that Corvus Clave will be in the arena store. So great job, Maverick. I'm sorry it never got a chance to be featured, but it would have if it hadn't been announced before I had a chance to make this video. Now moving on to number three and another member of my alliance. These guys were shut out from the top five forever and back to back months, they're actually getting featured. And this one is from Lucky Seer, Namor and Emma are going to be on a team together, possibly the Cabal. Is it possible that Namor and Emma are going to be on the same team together? I know the rumor out there is that there's going to be a Hellfire Club coming up for Emma, but they could swerve us here, guys, and add three brand new characters in a patch to make a team out of these. And that is something the devs have done in the past, so it is a likely thing to expect from them and that's why this one gets bold prediction number three all right guys and before we get into number two it is time to do a montage of all the bold predictions that are getting honorable mentions for the month of october enjoy <music> guys in continuing with honorable mentions one of the biggest categories i get bold predictions on is legendaries so your number two bold prediction is going to be a legendary prediction but before i show you who that is let's look at honorable mentions around legendary so the first one on the screen right now is adam warlock coming as a legendary character the next one actually left by two people same person i don't know this one's really odd that it looks like, like the exact same bold prediction made by Maybe two different people, one left on the comments of my video, one in my Discord. So Eric or Filthy Doll, you guys can let me know if you guys are the same person, but the bold prediction is that the next legendary is Professor X and you need a six star Phoenix to unlock him, which leaving him to be a six star unlock also, but no other details are given. And they also predict that Namor is going to a new team called the Illuminati. Like I said, very weird. These are very similar bold predictions. So either someone copied or just a coincidence or they're the same person. Please let me know in the comments down below. Next one, Mephisto will be the next legendary character with the release of WandaVision. And that my friends will lead me into what number two's bold prediction is. At the time WandaVision comes out, we will get the new team for Scarlet Witch with Vision, Quicksilver, Wiccan, and Speed. Blade will then replace Scarlet Witch as a supernatural legendary. That is a full packed bold prediction and I love it. You got number two, congratulations. All right guys, in the last bold prediction I made, I said 
that I'd be willing to do a competition of bold predictions of content creators. And two content creators answered that call. So I'm gonna show you both bold predictions on the screen, but I'm not gonna tell you who left the bold prediction. And you guys are gonna be able to vote down in the comments down below by giving a thumbs up to either bold prediction number one or bold prediction number two. The one that gets the most thumbs up will get featured in a video in the future from me. And I'm gonna leave that open for three days. So after 72 hours, whoever has the most thumbs up is the person I will feature in an upcoming video. But with that said, here we go. The first one, after Scream and Anti-Venom, two more symbiotes will come soon after, Toxic and Agent Venom. Is it possible? Do you guys think we'll get more symbiotes here in the future? And by his wording, near future. Or do you guys like the second bull prediction? Many players will regret how they use their Dark Dimension 3 rewards once we find out the Dark Dimension 4 requirements, which is coming up very, very soon. So now guys, you can guys go down the two comments that I posted will be pinned to the very top is do you like bold prediction number one or bold prediction number two? Please let me know and I will feature that content creator in a future video. And we got one more close only counts in horseshoes and grenades before we get into number one and that is anti-venom will give symbiotes defense up and will remove debuffs while scream will have taunt. Now we know by their kits being revealed that this is not their kit. So sorry, close but no cigar. And now the number one bold prediction is from a longtime viewer of mine. The Kingpin orbs are going to be reworked and get similar treatment to the Blitz orb to have a special arena character feature to make it even more special. Please no, but at the same time, yes, I can see this happening as there are more and more signs of Scopely getting their hands on this game. And you guys are already seeing it. You're seeing rumors of battle passes. You're seeing rumors of them cutting back on what's available character wise. The milestone orbs being replaced with seasonal orbs and bonus bold prediction for you guys, predicting that the premium orbs are gonna be going away too. And they're gonna be merged into new seasonal orbs, both milestone and premium orbs going, merged, done. See you later. And that is it. So I hope I am wrong and I hope this bold prediction's wrong, but Scopely has given me lots of reasons to believe that this will happen as it seems money is the king and we are just the pawns. And with that said, if you guys enjoyed this bold prediction, give me a thumbs up button. If you're new here or have not done this already, hit that subscribe button. And if you do not want to miss next month's bold prediction, don't forget that notification bell. And with all that said, I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye. So this honorable mention was just me kind of playing back, not being so serious. Some of these bold predictions sound familiar. So some things that other content creators are putting out there, not so bold. And I replied, 90% of these bold predictions were made the same day last month of August bold predictions. Nice to know other content creators are reading my chat and stealing thoughts of my viewers. Now I was just joking, but recently, I think the larger content creators are watching me. So here we go. Mass Caper does appear here. Now, so do other things, but the main reason why I give this one some validity one and not the other ones. The possibility that Anti-Venom is going to be a milestone character. Oh. Now, I want to mention that Anti-Venom is going to be milestones. You can see that Tana made a video. Another Tana mention about covering for a data mine, Anti-Venom being a milestone orb character or milestone event character event. now the other thing i like to disclose i always like to push myself for five gold stars on these event campaign characters and how i do that is i not only spend the 450 core refreshes but i also spend two 100s we're going to teach you guys how to get through the scream event uh basically get yourself a five star scream and that's going to talk about managing your core resources so your daily cores if you guys just do the uh 400 cores a day which is the four times 50 and the two times 100. So four times the 50 refreshes on the event and the two times 100 refreshes, that'll get you a five star on average, plus or minus.